I'm not telling you not to watch what you want to watch. I'm not telling you that you have to quit social media. Um, what I am telling you, this ain't like gonna be some rah rah motivational boost. So I want to talk about specifically this IPA. The beer? No, actually. This is far more important than the beer. This stands for Internet okay. Phone Addiction and or anonymous, because we might as well all be in rehab for this shit. And it's not just millennials, it's not just Generation Y or Z. It's, it's everyone nowadays. I'm a millennial. Yeah, you are. You're, first, you're the first one. I started this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, hey guys. Hey, yo, this, we we also do shit now. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, this is a huge problem for everyone right now. And um, something that I think works really well that Brandon has talked about before is having your phone in airplane mode until a certain time because you are fucking destroying your day. You're losing it before it starts when you um, open your phone and like see texts and Instagram and all those distractions. It's a nightmare. It really is. It, it, it melts your brain and makes you stupider. I don't, I don't have the exact science or data behind that, but I have personal experience. Um, so here's a powerful tool that I've found specifically for the YouTube binge problem. Does anyone here ever go on a YouTube binge for like three hours? Oh, I have. Yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. So I wanna teach you guys something that I found really helpful. And it's especially difficult for us, right? Because we can all rationalize why we're on YouTube. Oh, we're, we work for a social media company that involves YouTube. Like, yeah, of course we need to go on YouTube. But you know when you're fucking around and when you're actually scouting competition or whatever it is. So it's really just a really simple method and it's called the power of watch later. And essentially what you're doing is, I'm not telling you not to watch what you wanna watch. I'm not telling you that you have to quit social media. Um, what I am telling you is that in the morning and afternoon work hours, Anytime you see some shit that isn't for work or educational, that you just want to watch, maybe it's highlights of a basketball game, maybe it's um... I like you know. comic book, like, like, niggas yeah. explaining comic books. Comic book is <laughs> Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I get it, I get it, I get it. They're like, me and Miguel like video game walkthroughs, so does Johnny, uh, you know, whatever it is. Power of watch later, so just add that to you to watch later playlists on YouTube. And this does something psychologically to your brain where you're not telling it no, you're just telling it not right now. And the cool thing is you realize um, when, you, when you finally have that one to two hours that I suggest you use for recovery time at the end of the day, like, oh, I don't wanna watch all this shit. <laughs> like, in the, you have that momentary excitement to add all this shit to your watch later, and then you spend that one to two hours on the stuff that you wanna watch most. I have a problem. Go ahead. It doesn't put this shit in recent. In, in like the order of the recent shit. So like if I go into my watch later, I literally got shit from 2014. Mm, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, yo man, uh, who's gonna win the Mike Tyson fight? <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> like it, 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 so like I gotta scroll the fuck. Back. So for you, I would suggest just having a different playlist. You know? I got some playlists. Yeah. <laughs> so I would just make a new playlist. And, um, and I would list it by date. So like, oh, today's December 18th. <laughs> 2018. Oh, this is all the shit I put. That actually might be better, cause like it's it's organized by date. Maybe like a month. Yeah, or a month. Yeah. But yeah, it just does something, man. Like I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything now, whereas before, oh, if I don't watch it, I'm not gonna fucking see. And then you see it later, and you're like, I don't even want to watch that shit. And I think that's that's really important for the YouTube binge problem. All right, victory vloggers. Uh, yo, man, we better get about here tomorrow. As you can see, man, we keep a real clean office. All right. The reason is uh, we're going crazy tomorrow because we're going to Toronto. I got to do the online trainer summit. You heard. And then um, we're going also going to the Click Funnels office. We're going to kick it with the Click people. You know, they're going to Click Funnels. 
their office in Toronto, they want us to open it. I guess I'm gonna cut a ribbon or some splash of bottle of champagne on the building. I don't know how that works. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you're gonna see the go to Click Funnels with the Click people. They gonna pick us up from the <laughs> Click Airport. And uh, right now I gotta go get a Click Soup. Uh, K Rock too fucking lazy to vlog it. So uh, you gonna watch me get the suit on my Instagram? No, but it'll be old. Hey, I might put it on my story. I'll put it on my story, my my YouTube story. Maybe. I'll probably gonna forget that I said that shit as soon as I walk out the door. Anyway, y'all, peace.